The main focus is for the leaders to lead and the followers to follow. Now ladies, we don't want you to memorize steps. Okay, the reason we want you to memorize is because the man, the man can lead anything. He could do steps you've never done before. So you have to be able to follow. Okay, if you're in different, different parts of the, of the United States and it's in different locations, they could start on the opposite foot, they could start in the opposite direction, they could even start on the opposite beat. Okay, it's not going to be the same. So, for girls, you don't memorize. Leaders, you have to memorize and you have to lead. You have a lot to do. Today's lesson was a whole bunch of leading, right? So, talking about doing face moves. These are the loops. You put it behind and you let go, right? So you have to make sure you put it behind. If you put it in front of her head, she's going to turn. You have to place it behind and you have to let go, right? So, now, we talked about how do you let the girl know if you're going to turn her that she's supposed to stop. Well, we said if your elbow comes down, she's got to stop. See, now at this point, then you should put it over. Because really, once your hand goes up and she's a really good follower, she might spin a couple times. See, she might start spinning right there. So, you have to get her early and let her know that we're only doing one. Because we have other plans, right? So that's that. That comes out of kumbia action. So the kumbia, remember, is going to the side. Now, for this, this is about a crowded space. If you've been to a salsa club, there is no room. It's elbow to elbow. So leaders, you can't be throwing them into other dancers. That's bad. Okay? So, but for right now, just the basic concept is you do. Uh, so we're, we're going back, break, progress, and then you extend your arm. That tells her she's going to be preparing for some kind of a turnout. And five, six, seven. Okay, so she just she's fun. Okay. Now, so if you once you let go of her, it's you have no control. Okay. I wasn't leading that, but she just did that. Okay. So, but from here, yum, bum, bum. Now if I just want her to come out, five, six, seven, you see how it's progressing, right? So now we talked about, you have to pick your spots. One, two, sorry, I have the wrong hand. So you go, one, two, three, see? I navigated her to that side. So say that I'm like this, and five, six, seven. See, I'm choosing where I want her to go. Remember, it's crowded and you have to pick your spot. Because later on, these turns, they do become where you can spin her. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Right? But if you're going to spin her, you're going to have to spin her in the right spot. Right? I'd say she's over here. And spin her. And you might have to grab her because somebody's going to be jumping in and crashing into you. Right? So that's some of the things we're focusing on is being able to stop her and then kumbia. Pick your spot and come out. And then that combines it with all the other things we've been working on. Right? All these different things. They can start to link together. See, you can even do this from a basic. It doesn't have to be from a kumbia. And then the spin can come in as well. Okay?